All right, welcome back to another episode of Born Hunt Farms. Well, we just planted our dry land plot. We've got a little bit of manure over the top of all that. So right there, you see it. Just a little bit of rabbit manure and all that darker stuff. And then we got them in two foot spacing. So I went like this with my feet. Two foot spacing, so there's a row there, there, there. And then this one was only one foot spacing, but we did longer spacings lengthwise. This one was only a foot and a half spacing lengthwise with them. So we ended up planting out how many seeds there, but that's the dry land. We're not watering that at all. Just the manure on it is gonna help it. Got dirt in my mouth. Right here, there's a rock. But yeah, right here, we're gonna plant right now. This is what we're gonna be irrigating this. We're gonna be putting loads of manure on this. Ooh, a nail. You guys want that? No, you don't. Okay. But this is gonna be irrigated. This is what we're gonna put a bunch of manure on, trying to get compost on it to get just for our fair sunflowers. So for our fair varieties, we're the ones we're gonna try and get the biggest seed for. We have mammoth variety sunflowers. These are supposed to get about a foot in size. The heads of them are the, this part. That's not a flower. If, if you ever see me saying head, that's because you see each one of these little specks down there. Each one of these little specks is a flower. These petals don't mean it's a flower. Those are actually leaves. They do normal leaf stuff. This one, the American Giant Hybrid, is supposed to get about the same size. Then we have skyscrapers. Whoa, just drop that in the wind ticket. Skyscrapers. These are supposed to get a little bit bigger than those. These are also what we're using for dry land. But when you're planting sunflowers, this is how you do it. We're going to plant them lengthwise here. So I'm going to mark out my rows here, figure out where the end of this is. Edge of this is, I mean. It's right here. Okay. So I'm going to go one, two foot spacing just for that bigger sunflower. So put it at my heel, put it at my toe. A little marking in the dirt so I know exactly where that row is going to be. It looks like there is going to be four rows. So we'll have one row, two row, three row, and four rows sunflowers here, but they're a lot longer than those rows over there, so we have a lot more in them. So I'm going to set you guys up over here. Yes, you do see a bunch of junk on our ground here. It isn't the nicest area in the world. Could just sit up on a glass of water. All right. So then, what you do is you get a two inch or an inch deep. Go all the way across here. Just trying to keep it as straight as possible. Just to kind of get it nice and an inch deep. So I'm using this whole thing, that's actually two inches right there. But the dirt falls back down to where it's only about an inch left by the time it cuts to the ground here. This is all rotted till, it's going to be watered, all that kind of good stuff it needs. You got a rip ball, get those out of there. Those are gonna rob the water from the plant before it gets established you want the plant to be established before it can lose any water whatsoever and i'll make sure i got this thing at good depth here especially right over here on this edge that was the end that was really shallow okay like so here's going through I'm trying to make them in rows both directions so it's a little bit easier to get in there in water. Don't have to do that. Rip ball, rip ball. Doesn't matter if you knock a little bit of dirt back in, that's what I'm kind of trying to do when I go back over it today. If I have it too deep. But now you can see, 
there goes our glass. Well, I don't think you can drink out of that no more. But you got a row here, a row here, a row here, and a row here. We're gonna get our seeds in the ground there. Now, I think the first ones we're gonna plant are these American hybrids. American. There you go. Just the glass again, even though it's broken. So these sunflowers just drop the mammoths. The wind is getting annoying out here, guys. I hate Colorado because of the wind and because of other stuff, but I'm not gonna talk about that. But these only had five seeds in the packets. I tried a seed starter right off the start to see if they would start. And I think they've actually, one of the seeds that actually started in our house already. So we're also gonna bring those out here to plant them. But these are huge seeds. These are bigger than what you would buy in just commercial seed selling and stuff like that. They're huge. So we're gonna plant these in the center row. Just right here, right off of this edge here, the rock. We're gonna bring in the foot in from this concrete pad at least. Pop it in the ground right there. And then you're gonna take two feet, pop another one right there. Take two feet, another one right there, two feet. Right there. So that's this row. We're actually going to space them out more. We're just going to try and space them out until they look fairly even. So that we can get really nice foliage on them, make them look really nice when they're in here. Root balls, get them out of there so they don't suck up roots before the plant fully grows out of the ground. All right. So we have our American Giant Variety planted. Make sure you guys are still recording. All right. So we're gonna go over, just comb what came from that mound, or on the sides of the sunflowers, just comb it right over the top of them. Nice little compaction on top. So right where I have that row at, compacting right over the top of it, just to make the dirt be able to contact the seed that's there. So next we're gonna plant these mammoth sunflowers. These ones are nice seeds. These are normal. This is probably what the typical commercial variety is for when you buy them in, in sunflower seeds bags, like at a little grocery store you'll say I'll say these are what you'll typically have there so we're gonna plant a row of these actually we're gonna plant two rows of these because we have a lot of seeds here and we're gonna do a foot and a half spacings here actually we're just gonna do just over a foot spacing here for these ones these are gonna be these two rows here On the concrete in there.
right, so we got our mammoths planted now. Still recording? Yes, we got our mammoths planted. Much more of a normal sunflower seed, as you can see in there. They're not like a white, like those American hybrids are a white seed. The mammoths are a mix of white and black. And then the skyscrapers are just like pretty much a black, like an oil seed, pretty much. But you have these here. These things, just about the same size as the mammoths, but you can see they're really, really dark. They're really black color. And we're gonna plant these. All right, so these are black seeds. These are gonna go one row there. We have two more packets of those we're gonna plant in our other plot of sunflowers and anywhere else we can plant them this year. We're actually gonna drop them down in here like so. That's busted seeds, so we're gonna put an extra one right next to it to be sure it grows. We're lining up with the mammoths. We're doubling up on the seeds. Up until this end row here. That's it for planting all of these the skyscrapers or black seeds and all that stuff. We have all of them planted. Now we're going to go over them and just get that little bit of dirt on top. The inch of dirt is all they need. If you do more than that, they might not germinate, which is not a good thing. I'm just going to sweep all this in here. All this dirt, just sweep it right over the top of them About like that. Head stomped down a little bit. Go a little bit more into those. I'll go along this row. all the sticks and everything out of here. Just toss the dirt down the row.
All right, we have them all planted. Got four rows of sunflowers. These are gonna be what are gonna go to fair. Let's get a shovel. Got a shovel. Let's get some manure on it, just like we did here. We're gonna get some manure. There's a little puppy dog. Oh, long. Yeah, she knows how to look. But let's get some manure to spread all over this. Ooh, fancy bird in the building. All the way up there. Cool. It's not a sparrow. I don't know what that is. It's been hanging out weird. It's been hanging out around here lately. Oh, that does not smell good. Got a rabbit in here. We're going to spread this stuff heavy on the ground in there. Really heavily on the ground. Because it needs it. So we're gonna make this dirt, nice dirt. We're gonna spread it just over the top of the rows. And then, okay, I think you guys can see that whole area. Okay, here we go. Spread out good here. 